Since Assembly Planner is a multi-user environment, it requires you to check out an entity before editing it. This prevents different users from editing the same data at the same time. This checkout feature pertains to parts, bills of materials, routings, operations, activities, and resources. If you see a lock symbol next to the ID in the search control or in the header, it means the entity is available for checkout. No one is working on it at this time. If you see a red caution symbol, it means the entity has been checked out to someone else. If you don't see a symbol next to the ID, it means you have already checked out the entity. When you check something out, the system creates a local copy for you to work with. Everyone else still sees the master copy while you are working. When you check something back in, your local copy becomes the master copy. Okay, I'll demonstrate how to check out and check in a routing. The process is the same for other entities. First, I'll search for the routing that I want to edit. I'll open the folder to find all the alternates, and I'm going to choose the main routing here. I'll right click, and notice you have a couple different options. I can check out for edit, or check out all. If I check out the routing, I'll be able to edit the routing's properties. But if I check out all, I'll be able to edit the properties of the routing as well as the properties of any operation or any activity within that routing. I'm going to check out all. Now I'll make a few changes. I'm going to assign these operations to work centers. Okay, and once I've made my changes, I can do a couple different things. If I want to save my changes, I can come back to the routing and select check in all because I checked out all. Okay, but let's say that I check something out, so I'll again do check out all, and I make changes that I don't want to save, and I make a lot of them so I don't want to go back and and try to remember which changes I made. I can come in and right click again and do undo checkout. Now this will revert back to the data before I checked it out. Once you check something in, that is the master copy and you can't get back to what was there before. But if you check out and then undo checkout, it'll revert back. Okay, so I'll select that option and everything goes back to the way it was before I checked out. Another useful tool within the checkout check-in features is the checked out processes report. If I go to the reports menu and select the checkout processes report, I can see the list of all processes checked out and who they're checked out to. So this is a good tool if you see one of those red caution symbols and you know that someone else had checked this out, this report will tell you exactly who that is. And it will also remind you of those processes that you have checked out and still need to check back in. 